My name is Claudia Colia, I'm a City of London guide and this video is about a lecture I gave originally in July 2018 to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the City of London Guides and Lecturers Association. Together with other colleagues, we gave talks about city characters and mine was a revolutionary Lord Mayor called Robert Wakeman. In 2014, as a newly qualified guide, I saw in Salisbury Square a grey obelisk dedicated to Robert Waitman, Member of Parliament and Lord Mayor of London in 1823. I decided to find out more about this city character, who had a remarkable success as a liveryman and merchant, but also as a politician and orator. Robert Waitman was born in Wrexham in 1764, the son of John Waitman, a joiner at the Bersham Iron Works, who died only two years later. His mother, Mary, remarried in 1776, and Robert went to live with his uncle and was educated in Bath. After employment in a London linen drapers at the age of 22, he opened his first shop in Newgate Street. In July 1787, he married his cousin Mary Davis at St George the Martyr in Queen Square. In October, he became a freeman of the Framework Knitters Company and a year later obtained the freedom of the city. Having made a considerable fortune with his business, in 1797 he moved it to 103-104 Fleet Street at the corner with Newbridge Road, Ludgate Circus. Robert took a keen interest in politics. The French Revolution offered inspiration to start a new philosophical and political debate in Britain and revitalized reform societies. In 1791, Thomas Paine's The Right of Man defended the values of the revolution, liberté, égalité, fraternité, and highlighted the fact that only a fraction of the people who pay taxes were entitled to vote. Stimulated, Robert Waitman frequented the debating society at Founders Hall in Loftbury. In 1795, he was elected a common councilman for the ward of Farendon without. In Common Hall, he made an excellent speech, addressing the king and asking for an end to the ruinous, calamitous and disastrous war with France. The city corporation in the 1790s was loyalist, attached to William Pitt the Younger and increasingly conservative and opposed to left-wing revolutionary politics. Waitman emerged as the leading opposition speaker, heavily outvoted in Common Council. Although he was a moderate, in the eyes of the Tories and some aristocratic Whigs, he was a dangerous revolutionary. On the other hand, extreme radicals saw him just as a city jobber. A persistent opponent of the French wars, which he considered unnecessary and unjust, Waitman joined the Independent Livery, radical reformers organizing a national petitioning movement for peace. With an expensive war with France and Napoleon's forces seeking to invade Britain, in 1799 William Pitt the Younger, Prime Minister and Chancellor of the Exchequer, suggested the introduction of the income tax to aid the prosecution of the war. It is interesting to note that this was to be a temporary measure. In 1800, Waveman published a pamphlet, War proved to be the real cause of the present scarcity and enormous high price of every article of consumption, with the only radical remedies. For Waveman, the war's only apparent purpose was to res the restoration of the Bourbon family to the throne of France. Taxation and the increase of the national debt to finance the war was enriching the few by impoverishing the many. After Pitt's death, Parliament's decision for a state funeral and a monument in Westminster Abbey was hard won. At the same time, in Common Hall, Waitman unsuccessfully opposed the proposal for the memorial to Pitt in Guildhall. In 1812, Waitman stood as a member of Parliament for the City of London, but was defeated. He was elected an alderman for Farringdon in 1818. That same year, he regained the seat in Parliament, but lost it again. In 1820, he became Sheriff of London and Middlesex, and in 1823 was elected Lord Mayor. He was again elected 
Member of Parliament in 1826 and held the seat until his death, taking part vigorously in the parliamentary debates and strenuously supporting reform. He died at his home, Woburn Place, on 6th of February 1833 and was buried in St. Bride's Church, Fleet Street. His coffin was brought into the church in a spectacular funeral procession of 27 mourning coaches and 20 private carriages, which all departed from the guild door. In 1833, the St. Bride's Parish Committee erected Waitman's granite obelisk in Ludgate Circus, on the site of his shop, facing a column commemorating another radical, John Wilkes. The memorial, bearing the city arms, was moved to Bartholomew Close in the 1950s due to traffic congestion, and since 1975 it is in Salisbury Square. On this elegant tribute to a consistent champion of peace and radical reform, a bronze plaque reads, Robert Waitman, the friend of liberty in evil times.